Oh my god, trust the process, trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. Today we're going to be trying out Shrinky Dinks. Now what are Shrinky Dinks? Shrinky Dinks are a type of polystyrene plastic that you can draw or paint or color on and then heat up and it will shrink down into a cute charm, a keychain, or whatever you desire to craft. Now what I'm curious about is what types of mediums are going to work best on shrink plastic. I haven't played with shrink dinks since I was a kid. I've seen a lot of crafting YouTubers use a lot of different things from permanent markers to colored pencils to paint pens. And when I was younger, I think what we used was something like a permanent marker. So today we're going to try out all three and just see how we like it. See what turns out, what doesn't, and just make some stuff together. So to get started, we are going to take our shrink plastic. So I have a sheet here and one side is frosted and one side is shiny. For the colored pencil, we're gonna use this side. We can use either side when we are using the paint markers and the permanent markers. One thing that I've heard people say is fun to do is to trace pictures from coloring books to use with your shrink plastic. So I have these cute coloring books that my brother's girlfriend gave me that we are gonna pick some things to work with today. So for our first one, let's do cute corgis. Let's see if we can find a cute image in this book to use. I think I wanna try, I think I wanna try this one. Okay, so I think for this one, I'm gonna try the, mm, let's try the permanent markers. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the outline on the shiny side and then I'm gonna flip it over and color in on the back. So I have my set of permanent markers here. Let me move these so it's a little easier for me to deal with. And with shrink plastic, it's good to remember that this is gonna shrink down to about a quarter of the size that you see now. So let's start tracing. I think I'm gonna leave some of the fine details out just to make it a little easier on myself to color. don't have to be too perfect at this because it will end up shrinking down and the colors will condense and darken up. Okay, now we are all done tracing. All right, we're ready to color him in. So let's flip this over. And I'm going to color on the matte side. I have a corgi, so I have to remember what color corgis are. <laughs> Let's look through. Ooh, I think this is perfect. And then, obviously there's not a white, so we can't really color in the white. On the corgi. I suppose I could do that with paint pen. What color should we make his balloon? I think pink, maybe green. And how about yellow? And then maybe we will do the paint pen to color in. The rest. The frosted color might be okay. Maybe we'll just try to leave it and see if the frosted color looks okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, I need a super cute soft pink for his ears.
I really like the feeling of the coloring of the markers on this matte side. I know that you can buy shrink plastic that's um, shiny on both sides, but I kind of just, I like the feeling. <laughs> I like the way that feels. It feels really pleasant to color on this matte side. Oh, I think I want to add a blue in. And lastly, we will add the pink. Oh, I forgot I need a pair of scissors to cut this out. I will be right back. I'm back and I have with me a pair of scissors and a hole punch so we can have a space for a keychain. Now what we're gonna do is cut around our image as close as we can leaving a little bit of a border. And up here, we're actually going to punch a hole for our keychain. Okay, that looks pretty good for our first one. So this is the permanent marker. Now let's try the colored pencil. For the colored pencil, let's pick one out of these cute Halloween cats. <gasps> zombie cat! <gasps> I think we have to do zombie cat. Okay, we have this on the matte side and we're going to do what we did with our corgi. We're gonna trace it and color it in. They have this set of just plain Crayola colored pencils that we're going to try this with. I also have watercolor pencils, but I wasn't sure how they would work. And I have seen YouTubers who have used colored pencils and it's worked out pretty well. So we're going to try these. There's nothing like opening a brand new case. All right, let's find black. Oh, they're so, <gasps> they're so small. <gasps> Do you guys remember they used to be as big as this case? Oh my gosh, they're so little now. Oh, I feel like I'm getting scammed here. All right, let's start tracing. Anyone who knows me knows that I have kind of a thing for zombies. I think they're so cool. What do you think of zombie apocalypse themed stuff? Is it a gay or a nay for you? Leave a comment below and let me know. All right, our outline is done. It's time to color it in. Maybe this one? What do you think? Does this look like an undead kitty? All right, there we have a zombie kitty. Time to cut it out. I am finding that the plastic is a little fragile. So you want to be very, very gentle with how you're cutting these out. There. 
I think that is as good as we're gonna do on this one. Cause getting in here might be a little tricky. Last, we're gonna try paint pens. I think we're gonna look for another picture in this book. I think I wanna do this little bat wing kitty. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna draw the outline on this shiny side and I'm gonna color everything in on the back like we did with the permanent marker one. These acrylic markers or acrylic paint markers that I got actually have dual tips on them. So if I need to do some finer details or thicker details, they have both. No, I'm never gonna tell you that drawing is my strong suit. So if you see me doing something that seems strange, because you're more of a traditional artist, just know I'm not. <laughs> I'm flipping it over and coloring it in. I have these metallics, which I think might be really cute for the wings. So let's see how the metallics do when it comes to shrinking. Okay, we're gonna color the rest of the kitty in with this. Let's flip it over and see how it looks. Okay, that's really cute. <laughs> now that it's dry, it's time to cut it out. And there is our paint pen shrinky dink. Now that they're ready, it's time to use a heat gun. You can also use an oven and keep a close watch on them. I'm just gonna do it here with a little bit of parchment paper and we'll see how it goes. I'm just putting something heat resistant and warm on top to cool it down. Oh my goodness, that was stressful. <laughs> that was really stressful. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It got a little bumpy from me using the cork side of this on it. But I think I'm gonna just put resin on top and it should be perfect. It's so cute. Up next, let's try our zombie cat. Oh. 
Oh my god, trust the process, trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. <gasps> Look at it! Oh my gosh, look at it. He looks a little more wonky. Ooh, corgi hair. But that's okay, because he's a zombie cat. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And last up is our little bat. I don't know that this one's gonna turn out. <laughs> oh, I broke his tail. Oh no. I think I'm gonna try this one one more time and I'll meet you guys back here at the end. We have permanent marker colored pencil, and paint pen. I did have to end up trying this one three times. Every time I broke a different piece of it, I broke the whisker, I broke the tail, and they just didn't melt quite the way I wanted to. But when I flipped it over and melted from the rough side, it seemed to handle the paint melting a little bit better. Now you can add some finishing touches to these by putting some resin on top to help seal everything and make it last. Or you can go ahead and just attach it to your favorite keys or bag or charm, wherever you'd like, just the way it is. Well, there you have it. We tried three different ways of making shrinking keychains using paint pens, permanent markers, and colored pencils. Each one turned out just a little bit different from the other. But all of them were really good ways to test out using Shrinky Dinks. Which one was your favorite? I think this one ended up being my favorite. I'll leave a link in the description below for the paint pens, the permanent markers, and the shrink plastic if you want to give this a shot on your own at home. If you do try this out, I'd love it if you'd hashtag a cat of all crafts and show it to me on Instagram. That's it for today's craft session. I can't wait to see you guys next time. In the meanwhile, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so that you can be notified when the next video is posted. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and learning a little bit more about Shrinky Dinks. I'll see you soon.